All right, just a quick video about um, using uh, the poly shape in order to create clickable um, areas of an image on a web page. So here we've got a big painting, and each of these individuals in the painting, uh, you're able to hover and see a little bit about each of them. So we may want these to be clickable so you can go see a page or something like that but for right now we just want to kind of outline each of these people um, and have a little this little blurb pop up when we hover over each of them so recently we've got this painting rescanned so this is an actual painting that we have scanned um, and then kind of drawn on these poly shapes so that um, you know we can do we can get this effect so we got a rescan of this painting, which happened to be slightly different dimensions. So if we inspect this page by hitting F12, uh, sorry, function F12, then we can actually see in here what those shapes look like. So you can see they're a little off, um, and we want to correct these. So um, yeah, some of them aren't too bad, but some of them are kind of a little they seem a little the outlines are a little lower than the individual so what we are going to want to do is open our HTML file here so this is our index file and we can see that we have this giant block of coordinates so each of these coordinates um, is a, a series of pairs so pairs separated by commas of uh, each of the, uh, I guess, oh, there's a word for it, but the, the joining points of where we want the line to end. So the easiest way that I have found in order to actually record these points is very simple, and I'm sure there may be a more high-tech way to do it, but first I open a notepad, second I open this image in the exact dimensions that it is on the screen. So again, if I inspect this picture as a whole, it is bound to 906 width by a height of 508. So I'm gonna need to uh, get this picture into that exact size and I'm gonna open it up in Notepad. So here I've just numbered all of them uh, just so I know I can keep track of which ones I've completed and whatnot. Uh, but really, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on one side and the Notepad on another if it'll cooperate. Good enough. I'm gonna literally, um, I guess let's start with Bach here. I'm just gonna literally hover over. Let me get out of the um, the text. There we go, that's easier. So it's got a nice point to it. So I'm literally gonna hover over each of these um, points around Bach and record them um, in my notepad. So, there's one, move the cursor to maybe just top of his head, try not be incredibly precise. And there's another one, and so on, until we have traced Bach entirely. And that's really all there is to it. And then I'm going to take these coordinates, and um, if I remember correctly, you don't have to have the beginning coordinate twice. Whatever uh, your last coordinate, it'll wrap around to the beginning. So I don't need to re-include the starting point. Uh, but then all I'll do is take these things, and I'll have to look up in here, Bach, and replace his coordinates with the ones I have just created. And we are using, I guess it bears mentioning, we're using a, a JavaScript library called Overlib, which is pretty old, and I'll have a link to it in the description. Uh, but here it is, it's just a, a pop-up library that was created a few years ago. And we can give this a save and restart our little project here and click on Bach, and you'll see that now it has that polygon that we drew around him. So 
if I wanted to take more time to do this a little more precisely, that would probably be better. And um, I guess one thing, if you wanted to get really uh, crazy with it, is all of these people are touching, so you can reuse some of the coordinates. So if there's some way, for instance, uh, let's pick here, maybe I wanted um, this dividing line between uh, the nurse here and this firefighter to share a point, um, then maybe I'll just make a note that uh, maybe after this point it intersects with character 34. And then when I do character 34, I know to reuse a couple of the points so that they they don't overlap or anything. And the, uh, you don't get any weird things happening when I hover over with the mouse. Um, yeah, so that's all there is to it. Thanks.